Hello and welcome to our quiz dedicated to Web3. The Web3, what is this? Is this a MetaMask which we use almost every day and almost every day we get mad because of gas fees? Yes, of course, the MetaMask is also part of Web3. But this word is much bigger in its meaning. But to figure out what Web3 is, we should go back and know what Web2 and Web1 respectively. Web 1. The Internet started its life in 1969 when a group of scientists managed to develop a connection channel between two computers. But of course, the modern Internet as we know it now appeared in the early 90s when Tim Berners-Lee proposed his World Wide Web project. This project was about hypertext documents connected with each other via hyperlinks. So that is how the Internet as we know it appeared. But at the same time, it was a very static Internet where you could only read the content provided by website owners. By the way, you can see how websites look like that time by using Internet Wayback Machine at web.archive.org. But the Internet had been developing alongside technologies. And step by step, such concepts as Web2 started to be in people's minds. Social networks like Facebook and Instagram appeared in our lives. Users start to generate their own content at these networks. By the way, the Web2 definition is again connected to Team. But at this time, it was not Tim Berners-Lee, but Tim O'Reilly. Too many teams for the internet, but as my name also starts as Tim, maybe I would develop the Web4 definition. Anyways, Tim O'Reilly wrote an article called What is Web 2.0? on September 13th, 2005, where he marked a huge amount of websites connected by similar technologies. As main differences from Web 1, Web 2 has dynamic pages, where information is renewed without page reloading and the ability of users to post their content in social networks. But at the same time, in the Web2 era, we became the eyewitnesses of the appearance of centralized monster corporations like Facebook or Google. Our private data became a source for direct advertising and the censorship of course also grew. So, as an answer to Web2 disadvantages, the conceptions of Web3 appeared. Technologically, it is connected to the development of blockchain. Web3 is about decentralization and the security of personal data. Such things as decentralized finances and decentralized autonomous organizations appeared as an alternative to truly centralized Web2 services and finances. In Web3, the user becomes the main actor, but at the same time, users must respect the rights of other users. In decentralized Web3, the censorship is going to be very unlikely. At present, we are all in the process of transition from Web2 to Web3 and many more definitions of Web3 can appear in this process. So, this quiz, which we have prepared, is designed to help you to know more about Web3 and to do your own research in this topic. I wish you good luck and I hope it will be fun. Thank you.